there was a there was a, a local news story last night that was completely confusing more than it answered any questions. Three people in Georgia were arrested for child abuse. Okay. And the abuse was that this little boy, now that we don't know the age, but it was kept referred to as a minor child. So in your mind, you're thinking like less than nine, 10 right. or less. So this minor child had the word gay shaved into the side of his hair and he was beaten and ridiculed and mocked on a video that went viral. And these, I don't know if these are family members, but they're relatively young. Like one's 20, one's 19, one's 23, something like that. So they were arrested for child abuse because of the child's sexual orientation. So those things don't jive to me. If he's truly prepubescent, he doesn't have a sexual orientation. Right. And if he's old enough to be, you know, having a sexual orientation, then it's not, in my mind, traditional child abuse. Now, you can bring them up. You can bring those people up on assault, battery, you know, even against a minor but right. to, frame, to frame the story as they were just beating up on this little kid and publicly humiliating him because of because of his sexual orientation, I was like, no, that's the problem right there. We're sexualizing children. It's the only explanation that I can come up with is because they got to have a result. They need to lock up gun owners. So they continually make laws that outlaw the law abiding citizen, therefore making them a criminal so that they can go make a result. But nothing's actually being done. It's, it's such a mind fuck. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What? Yeah. Say yep. that one more time, real slow. So you're in Walmart. Right. And they deem you a shoplifter. Because you they conceal the products. Didn't leave yeah, the store. So they, you conceal products. They're out of the view of the cameras. It's concealment. Right. right. So it's intent to, to shoplift, right? Into, there's so they, the word. They can call the police, have you arrested, which which means that the county gets money automatically for your arrest because you have to bond out and pay fines and all the things that go along with that. Right. But then, but then, as like I say, you get sentenced, you get convicted, or you take a, a, a some kind of deal or whatever, and you get some community service because of it. In order to pay your community service, you either have to physically go and do it, or you can spend like 175 or 200 bucks on Walmart gift cards, and it buys off your community service time. So as far as like drug laws go, he learns some things about that. So if you get a possession charge in Georgia you and you're a minor, you automatically disqualify yourself from any state scholarships like the Hope Scholarship that you would otherwise qualify for automatically. Really? If you get a, yeah. So what a way to keep kids out of the college, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, All my especially. My little possession charge, and they can no longer apply for Hope Scholarship or any of the other state scholarships. That's crazy. Um, and then you also lose your ability to get a gun permit should you ever have a possession charge. Right. Well, let's say you don't even, let's say at this point you don't even own a gun, and you just got a little pot, and you get that possession charge. What, what Georgia law says is under that conviction, you can never have a gun. Wow. You, you'll never qualify for a permit, ever. 